Hi, and welcome to another episode of Wine by Night. Tonight we're gonna to be looking at one of my favorite styles of wine, and that's sparkling wine. We are actually gonna be looking at Cava, and tonight specifically, we're looking at the Pata Negra Organic Cava. Cava is one of those fancy words for sparkling wine that means it's from Spain, and from that word alone, indicates that it's been done in the traditional style of fermentation, the same that you would find done in Champagne, France, or in terms of Cremants. This wine is specifically from Spain, however, and includes a variety of three specific grapes, and they can be in a variety of percentages. And they are Paradella, Macaebo, and uh, Zarello. And I may not have pronounced those correctly because I don't speak fluent Spanish or Spanish at all. So those would be the three grapes. This one happens to have all three. The thing that you're looking at in Cava and that it's being done in a traditional style fermentation, that method of with the riddling and the turning over and then the second fermentation on the lees is really important because you're gonna still in Cava get those fresh, crisp notes but you're also going to be expecting some of those yeasty autolytic notes that you would get from the yeast and having set on those in the second fermentation process. This one, you get those bright fruit notes, but you get that creaminess, like even on the nose of like brioche, kind of sourdough a bit. And right now I think everybody's been making sourdough bread and like trying starters in my um, group of friends. So it's a really familiar uh, aroma for me. Also, when you're looking at traditional style method, and I don't know if I can hold this up enough that you can see, and you can see the bubbles, they're very consistent and they're going straight up. They're not like weaving, they're going directly straight up. Maybe if I hold it over my black shoulder, you can kind of see it a bit better. But the bubbles, that's key as well in something that you're looking at in terms of traditional fermentation, which kind of narrows it down to region specific. But on this one, you're getting that really still fruity character, which you wouldn't expect in a champagne. So that would lead you towards the side of something from Spain going on the Cava side. This one, you can really feel the bubbles in your mouth. You can feel it's like super stringent. The bubbles aren't like pop bubbles. They're not like super carbonated but you can really feel them and they burst inside your mouth and you can feel the acidity coming down the sides of your jawline. It's really intriguing in that you get those apple notes, the pear, again, the really crisp, ripe fruit, but you get this toasty nut note, which is really intriguing and what makes these types and styles of wines really interesting. Again, super refreshing. And one of the things that I'm asked often is what pairs well with X? Well, you can never go wrong with sparkling wine. Sparkling wine is one of those things that goes well, whether you're having breakfast, whether you're having lunch or dinner, dinner, supper, depending on where you are in the world. It's really one of those things you can be relaxed about. Um, I probably wouldn't make a mimosa with champagne, but I might make one with cava and solely because of the lower price point. However, drink it on its own. The quality is there. This one being organic is also really interesting. It's coming from that Cataluna area, which is really like kind of in that slopes coming down into the Barcelona and I was looking for that word and it really can be intriguing and so I encourage you to branch out find some sparkling wines that you'd be interested in trying 
especially try out different ones that are done in the traditional method and compare them and see what you like because the gamut that is out there on price ranges from traditional style methods range from everything of Jacob's Creep from Australia to the best of champagnes and you can find something in between that fits your style and your flavor profile. This one again is uh, Pata Negra. It is an organic style cava from Spain. Cava means sparkling wine from Spain from that specific region using those specific grapes. It's very like succinct on that. Again, you're going to be looking at the bubble formation and how it goes straight up and it's continuous. It goes right up there. The aromas, fresh fruit, ripe fruit, but yet it has that toastiness to it, that brioche sourdough bread note to it from sitting on the lees. I hope you find a sparkling wine that you like. Cheers.